Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sam Blaster 1987 here, continuing once again with my Soto Chronicle Kamen Rider Kid Reviews. This is Kamen Rider Baron, in his classic banana arms form. Unfortunately, the mango arms form is only available as part of a box set with some of the other sets, so you have to wait until later to see that one. Mango arms is my personal favourite design for Baron, but still. As you can see here, he is in his uh, original mango, I mean, banana arm suit, complete with all the silver sticker detailing and the red plastic. There's no Muso Saber clip on this design because Baron doesn't use that weapon. Instead, he uses this peeled banana spear thing. As you can see, he's uh, very well represented through the golden metallic yellow stickering on the silverish grey plastic on the design here. The only amount of uh, yellow detail that's actually paint is the banana parts of the helmet, except for the visor, that's a sticker, but still. So, same articulation as all the other Soto Chronicle riders. Ball jointed, well, double ball jointed neck. Ball jointed mid torso for ab crunch and such like. Hinges on the shoulder pads to get them out of the way for ball jointed shoulder movement. Bicep swivel. Deep elbow bend, ball jointed wrist for swappable hand motion and such like. Ball jointed hips with a thigh swivel. Be careful though because there's a lot of stickering around that area. Very deep knee bend and a ball jointed ankle. As per usual, the Servo Chronicle kits come with these hexagonal display stands with a sticker displaying which uh, character design is supposed to be on there. There's a couple of holes on the bottom of the feet for these pegs on the display stand for more dynamic poses to be supported properly and angles for this display arm won't hold. And of course, for size comparison, here is Kamen Rider Baron with Kamen Rider Ryuki, the 6 inch figure eye standard model kit. And Kamen Rider Gaim orange arms as well, so you can see the way that the yeah, display stands lock together, like so. Like the cells of a uh, honeycomb and a beehive. I'll leave a link in the description below for my yeah, other Kamen Rider reviews at this point. So, for accessories, you've also got some open, splayed, gesturing hands. A downward pointing wrist for pointing the spear forwards. A, yeah, weapon holding hand for the other arm. Closed fist, like so. And, of course, this middle portion here for the banana spear when it's not held in hand, like so. Which, uh, obviously, is replaced by the hand, taking the, yeah, taking the spear apart, like so. Then, putting the black end at one side and the spear end at the other. This is what the spear is supposed to look like. Unfortunately it's a little bit warped because the banana peel part is made of rubber so it's easily misshapen. This piece here for those who are wondering is the back of the head for the generic ride wear mode for when Common Rider Baron is transitioning between transformations. As always, for the sake of fair model kit compatibility and such like, these figures have fair split in half helmets, which I showed off during the Kamen Rider Kabuto Rider reviews for this line. So, as you can see, these spare stickers are also enabling you to wear, transfer the banana armor lock seed and such like onto Kamen Rider Gaim's base suit. So, this sticking here from the Gaim instructions gives you the banana lock seed and Gaim faceplate piece for the Sengoku driver belt. And these stickers from Baron's sheet give you a new display stand logo and a new visor piece for Kamen Rider Gaim banana arms. I'm not going to actually use these, but I thought I'd show them off as part of a review. So, that concludes my Kamen Rider Baron review. I have been Sandblaster1987. Join me next time when I'll be continuing these series reviews with Kamen Rider Ryugen, Budo Arms. Till then, till all are one.